members of the jury, your guests of the court. As we heard today, there is evidence that both swallowed the grandmother and Red Riding Hood. We don't deny it. It's quite obvious from the testimonies. But the defense clearly thinks that it was done only because of deeds and behavior of other people. First of all, let's talk about Red Riding Hood's mother. She said that she alone at home, she works too much, but I, I don't think that when there are only two people in the family, you need to work a lot. So I think that she would have a lot of time to spend with her daughter. So I think it is a bit reckless to let a young girl in the forest alone. And talking about the goods which were in the basket, they said that it was just one bottle. They said that it, it was just a small bottle. But it was just the words between the family. I didn't uh, hear. I didn't hear such testimonies from other people, other participants of our case. So they could somehow cooperate with each other. And if you if we look at these eyes of these people, grandmother, Red Riding Hood, they are wicked, all wicked. And actually, grandmother is. Testimonies, I think, were also messed up with the alcoholic abuse in some way. <laughs> so I think that, uh, dear jury, you should take these facts into the consideration. What is more, uh, I'm not talking about the cat, um, and I think we decided that his testimonies couldn't be uh, approved here and couldn't be used because of the injury, or so called injury, because also no one has seen the cat except for the cat. <laughs> the next thing. The next thing about the attitude. As I told you, as I told you before, Wolf is often often seen as a villain and as a bad guy. And I think that the main thing is that sometimes people behave themselves much more violently, much more reckless animals. And I'm sure that Wolf was just put into the corner and he had no other options but ju just to, eat, to try to kill this poor Red Riding Hood and her grandma. And I think that there would be many other cases in human history when people would kill not for eating but for other lower Purposes. So I think that the moral of this story is that you should be responsible for what you're doing. And by res res responsiveness, I mean that the mother shouldn't let your daughter to walk alone. The huntsman shouldn't uh, be so passionate about killing all uh, animals in the forest. They should be behaving as a human in the best way.